Kaohsiung Mayor Han Guoyu has suffered another setback in his attempt to block his recall election, which is scheduled for June 6. Han's legal team had been challenging the election in administrative courts, but his case was rejected for the second time on Thursday. This decision cannot be appealed. Mayor Han attended a Mother's Day event on Friday. The day before, the Supreme Administrative Court rejected his appeal to hold the upcoming recall vote against him. Han made little comment on the development, leaving his government's information bureau to do the talking. Concerning the political controversy, we passed it to the court to handle. We are disappointed by this result, but we respect it. The legal battle began when the petition to hold the vote entered the second stage of the process. In April, Han's lawyers filed a court request seeking to have the election suspended. More than 7,000 of the 29,000 signatures on the petition have obviously been dated within the last year. The recall campaigners broke the law first. On April 17, the Taipei High Administrative Court ruled against the request to suspend the election on the ground that it was unlawful to first file an administrative suit rather than an appeal. Han's team then appealed that ruling. On Thursday, the Taiwan Supreme Administrative Court rejected his case. It said the CEC's decision to greenlight the second stage of the petition was an administrative formality, not a sanction against Han, and thus could not be challenged. The ruling of the Taiwan Supreme Administrative Court makes it clear the mayor needs to courageously face reality to face the outcome of the recall vote on June 6. He should not be filing these flimsy legal challenges to pointlessly struggle against it. After two failures in the courts, time is running out for Han's team to find a way to stop the recall vote from going ahead. But if history is anything to go by, he may yet have more ideas up his sleeve.